Hi, I'm Natalie Richards, and I'll be your host for this week's news. Hello, my name is Jago Pukas, and this is the sporting events for this week. On Thursday, the cross-country team have their WPIAL championships at White Oak Park. On Friday, the varsity football team is going up against Southmoreland at Offutt Field. On Saturday, the JV football team is going up against Southmoreland at the Southmoreland High School. That's all for sports. Now on to Natalie with announcements. Thank you, Jacob. Now on to the announcements. Seton Hills College and High School enrollment is now open. The deadline to enter is October 31st. Information is available in the guidance office. Attention seniors, there is still time to apply for the National Daughters of the American Revolution Good Citizenship Scholarship Award. This award recognizes and rewards individuals who possess good citizenship, qualities of dependability, service, leadership, and patriotism in their homes schools and communities. Applications are available in the guidance office. Application deadline is November 21st. If you are interested in auditioning for the musical, the audition date will be Friday, November 8th at 3.15 in the auditorium. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays during advisory, the Golden Line shop will be open across from the cafeteria, so be sure to get your snacks there. And finally, all the students who are interested in playing the winter sport must be registered with the R School today and have completed Section 5 and 6 of the PIAA physical form uploaded to the R School today registration site by Friday, November 8th, to participate on the first day of the winter practice on Friday, November 15th. Students who have already played a fall sport and plan on playing a winter sport need only to fill out and return a Section 7 recertification form to the athletic office. Directions and forms for signing up are available in the main office and the athletic office. Impact-based concussion testing for students in grade 9 and 11 who wish to participate in basketball or wrestling or students who have never taken the initial impact baseline test before will be tested on Tuesday, November 5th or Wednesday, November 6th at 3.15 p.m. in rooms 222 and 224 at the high school. That's all for announcements. Now on to weather. Thanks, Natalie. Today is going to be mostly sunny with a high of 66, dropping to a low of 51. On Saturday, it is going to be mostly sunny with a high of 58, dropping to a low of 33. On Sunday, it is going to be mostly sunny with a high of 55 and dropping to a low of 31. That is all for weather. Now here is Eric with weekend events. Hello, my name is Eric Smith, and this will be my report on weekend events. This Saturday, there will be a Community Day Harvest Festival at Westmoreland Museum at 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. On Sunday, Pumpkins will be hosted at 12th Octave 217 South Pennsylvania Avenue at 1, 1 to 2.30 p.m. This Saturday at 11, there's an escape room open in Greensburg at East Pittsburgh Street, Street at 6.30 p.m. Saturday is the opening night for the American Mosaic in Greensburg on West Ottoman Street. Sunday at 7 a.m., Seton Hill is hosting an Illumini race in Mon in, and in Monroeville. Montelfish special guest clip is at Mr. Small's Theater at 8 p.m. The October Boot Bash race is at 11 a.m. in Monroeville. Thank you and have a good weekend. Good morning, Greensburg, Salem. I am Jezreel Favorito and I'm reporting on the further presence of Japanese culture. In stores such as Walmart, you may have noticed in, in an aisle a Ramoine, a soft drink becoming a staple in many stores like Five Below and more. And maybe you have you are watching a video and you have gotten an ad for a streaming service called Crunchyroll. This is because of the growing popularity of Japanese culture, the most prevalent mediums being anime and food, which streaming services like Crunchyroll and Hulu and Netflix are even even going way back to cable when Toonabi aired anime on Cartoon Network. 
Anime has become a popular medium of entertainment with shows like Dragon Ball, Demon Slayer, and most recently Dungeon Meshi for they are well written narratives but mostly for the amazingly animated action sequences which speak for themselves. For the influence of Japanese food, it is a bit more nuanced. Cuisine like ramen, tempura, and sushi have made staples in the palates of many and being popular in the frozen food and for being instantly made like cup noodles. As well other influences have made it that Eastern culture has been growing in popularity. This is not everything, so I do recommend that you do your own research if you are interested. Because the history of cultural influence of Japan stretches to the 50s with a film known to us as Godzilla. But that's all I have to say. I am Jezro Favorito with GSTV News, reporting on the prominence of Japanese culture in the U.S. Hi, I'm Addie, reporting for GSTV. You may not realize it, but art of many different kinds affects you every day, whether it's in the form of architecture or paintings you see hung up in the hallways. We see art everywhere we look. Art has a way of changing our moods and emotions, making them better and more impactful to the people around us. Today, I am here talking with Mr. Audia, one of the most art-motivated teachers we have here at GSHS. Thank you for talking with me today. I like it. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. <laughs> so, how long have you worked in the GSHS school district? Okay, so Greensburg-Salem is a district. This is my 21st year, and also Mrs. Audia's 21st year. And if you had uh, Mrs. Terrace in the middle school, we all got hired the same year. So this is year 21. It's my sixth year in the high school, though. That's awesome. How have you seen art impact the school around you? Okay, well, we have lots of kids because we've been here for, geez, a long time, hundreds if not thousands of kids we've um, taught, and we have a lot that have gone on to art careers, and we have a lot that um, have just continued it as a hobby. Um, but like as a school district, I mean, I've seen our program grow throughout the years, and it's great to know that we're a part of that. That is awesome. That is very like beneficial to the school district. I think it makes a big difference. Thanks. That's awesome. And that's all I have. That's all, those are all the questions that all right. I have. Anytime. Thank you. Thank Anytime. you for ha letting me interview you. No problem. This is Addie reporting for GSHS. Thank you for watching. That's all for this week's news. See you next week. Mm -hmm.